Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can incorporate the window snipping tool as an aid for working with the print optimizer program. So as you can see, I've already got my print optimizer up and I do have all three of the printers on here. The Judo Heat FX 8432, the i550, and the 9541. Just to show you that you can use this with each one of our product lines. Also, today I'm going to actually be doing this using the 8432 photo print queue. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Windows search section and type in snipping. And then your snipping tool should pop up. If you don't have the search section down here, just open your Windows and then just type, start typing in snipping. And then this will pop up as well. Now, every window should have snipping tool or it's probably going to have snip and sketch. Same exact thing. So here I'm going to um, pin this to my taskbar so it's easier to find. And then now the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on my snipping tool, click on new, click on the corner here, hold the mouse down and then drag and draw a box around my image. This will now give you my before of my image. Next I'm going to come here to color adjust. So currently, as you can see in our color adjust, everything's zeroed out. So this is pretty much in its default state. When it comes to color adjust, the way this works is that this will allow you to manually manipulate that color profile. So if you wanted to make your image look a little more bluer, you can add cyan to it. Or if you feel like maybe the image is a little too yellow, you can dial back some of the yellow. So pretty much up here, this is all on your preference and how you feel the image should go. So I'm just going to throw some numbers in here. And then to help see a big drastic change, I'm going to take the saturation level and I'm going to make it 15. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and press OK. But if you notice, though, that on the screen, nothing's really changed. So our next step from here, we're going to click on our image in the, in the print preview window here. Hit right click, generate preview image. So now this time, anything that we did here in color adjust will now take effect here on the screen. Once you get to this point now, you can definitely see there's a change in the colors in the image. And if you want to make sure you can confirm to see what the actual what the change was, now we're going to bring our window snipping tool back up, drag this window over, so now we can compare them side by side. So here you can, you can see exactly what the print optimizer did to your image without it having to print. The next step you can do from here is that, well actually once you're done, just close this window out and that's it. Now the other item you can use window snipping tool with for here is that let's just say you printed this image out and it came out great. And now it's time to reprint this over again but you don't quite remember what you did color adjust wise. Well, bring your color adjust window back up. Go to your snipping tool one more time. Click on your new. Click and drag and draw your box around your color adjust settings. And then at this time, we can go to file, save as. And because I'm leaving this image on my desktop here, what I'm gonna do here now is I'm going to call it DFX Color Adjust. And I'll probably save it as a JPEG, this way it's a little bit smaller. So now when it comes time to having to reprint this image, all I have to do now is bring up my Digital Heat FX Color Adjust, plug in my numbers, and I'm ready to reprint the same thing all over again. Well, this is a step-by-step on -step how you can use the window snipping tool with the print optimizer, and I hope this is able to help. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day.